Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, just thought I'd follow up with uh, another video of my Lossini T 2.0. I'll uh, show you guys my build here real quick, my setup, my stuff, what I got going on right now. My project. Um, but I thought I'd follow up with a uh, another video of my Losi Me D 2.0 and show you guys what I got going on in my build here. <coughs> um, in that last video, I had a the uh, a green body of the ST16, but um, after that video I posted, um, that body blew up and I ended up breaking a bunch of parts. Uh, along with the body, it just exploded when I crashed, and I ended up breaking in here, I ended up breaking um, the whole front, no, the whole, the whole back shock tower, and we'll get to that in a bit, we'll get to the inside of my low C Mini T2.0 in a bit, but I just uh, thought I'd let you guys know of what happened, why I didn't uh, post up any speed runs of my Los Mini T2.0 after showing you guys my uh, 7800 KB mortar but let's get into that sorry if my voice sounds kind of low and deep I, it's late right now very late at night and I'm gonna use my um ins inside voice and just kind of just kind of talk low but uh, we'll start from the outside uh, we'll start at the batteries just to show you guys what what I do run. Uh, these are the stock batteries that you can get from Horizon Hobby off their website. Um, these run really good. Uh, not a not a lot of run time, like maybe like 10, 15 minutes, depending on how much you um on how much you're uh, flooring it, gassing it, you know how much um uh, how much throttle and acceleration you're giving it. And it also depends on, you know, what mortar you're running in here. But, um, I also got me a 3S battery that runs really good. It gives me a lot more power and a lot more run time. And then I also have this Electron battery right here. It's really good. 860 milliamp, 25C, 2 charge rate. It's really good. Um, but I'm gonna get more. Um, let's see here. So we can start on the outside real quick. Uh, these are directional wheels in the front. These are very good for the Losi Mini T2.0. If you're gonna be doing just nothing but acceleration, nothing but speed, you know, um, that's what I'm doing. I, I'm not doing any dirt runs, no, no, uh, no, no dirt, no dirt whatsoever. Just strictly asphalt. Um, um, I just want my, I'm using my low humidity 2.0 for like performance and and just you know speed runs and just to see how how good this little thing can go and how fast it can handle um uh, let's see step step pinwheels in the back you guys already know got these going on right here these are really good I'm probably going to have to um, uh, open them up and duct tape them so that I can, so that they don't bubble. Because the mortar that I got in here now, the 7800 KV mortar from Hobby Wing, it's really good. It's really, really good. It's a really good mortar and um, let's see, let's get in here. Let's pop this open real quick. Uh, yeah, um, I got a clear body. Uh, it looks really clean. I like it. I mean, I still put all the stickers on um, Not in the original Some in the original placement of what you would see of, of what you would get when you would order these things from Horizon Hobby um, But I ordered it. I ordered a clear body because uh, it just looks really clean I like looking at the inside of my car my RC And it, it's just really cool. It's clean. It looks really good stickers and all decals and you guys you, you can you, yeah i already showed you this one the sd16 uh body I had to modify some holes for the for
for the body placement pins so the pins can go in but this body sits really good with the low cbd 2.0 you don't gotta change a thing other than just those uh, adjustment to these holes. Like you gotta make those yourself. And it looks really good. I'll put it on after. I'll put it on after I show you guys of what I got going on in here. So, so. Alright, so we'll start in the front. So I have a LED disc panel here that I need to re-solder the wiring so that the lighting can, you know, uh, actually light more. Well, not more, so that the so that I don't have trouble with the with the lighting. It still turns on. It's good what it does. It's really bright. Um, it's a 10 LED uh, disc panel. Uh, and you, I found this at a Dollar Tree. It's very, very affordable. Um, <clears throat> I have uh, the low C uh, aluminum shock absorbers with hard springs. You can get soft, medium, and hard springs on their website. I have the, the aluminum shock absorbers with hard uh, springs. That way, there's more downforce in uh, the car. I don't do a lot of jumps, no ramp jumps, no hops. It's just I just like doing speed runs. But hard springs definitely apply a lot of downforce, so that's good. Um, I just got this new. I mean, I was it's the stock SX107 that it originally comes with. Um, but I had to get another one because the steering servo was um, was messing up and that's why I haven't been posting up any speed runs. Um, I don't know what happened. It kind of messed up the uh, the uh, the servo saver. It was messing up. It wasn't it wasn't saving itself anymore. So and I had to get a new one. <clears throat> and I I put it in, so now I have uh, a working steering servo, and I don't know if you can see that, but let's see, zoom. Well, you can you can barely see it, but I had to put a zip tie around the. Uh, oh, there you go. I had to put a zip. Oh my I had to put a zip tie around the metal ring of the servo saver because it was kind of, it was just loose. It was too loose and it wasn't saving itself too accurately. So I had to zip tie it and you don't want to make it too tight. Just make it not too tight, but as tight as you can, but not too tight because you don't want it to be too sloppy. You want to make sure that the if you do this, you want to make sure that the zip tie is like sitting correctly on the ring all around and then you know make sure it's just got like a decent tightness um let's turn the car around a little bit fan now uh, in the beginning I did not have a fan but uh, now I have a 10,000 rpm fan uh, that definitely keeps the motor cool and we'll get to that in a bit um, but yeah I definitely need this now because it the motor does get hot especially after the I have the the stock uh, spur gears is still in here it's a 60 turn the only thing I've changed is the pinion gear. This is an a, a 18 turn. <coughs> uh, sorry, my voice is getting scratchy. And this is uh, yeah, a 66 zero, 60 turn spur gear. And this is a, um, this is a 18 turn uh, a pinion gear uh, that you can get from their website. They, they got are going to be available now 
but I'm not gonna give away where I got mine because they are hard to find. But I'm gonna direct you to Horizon Hobby because they do know they do have now 18 turn pinions that they are gonna restock soon. Um, so yeah, I do have a fan in here now, uh, 10,000 RPM because the mortar that I have in here now definitely gets really hot, super super hot. Um, the mortar that I have in here is a 7800 kV mortar from Hobby Wing, and let me tell you, this thing is just crazy fast, just woof. It, it does the job, it for and definitely, like, yeah, it does pop, it does pop wheelies, but not to the point where it's not uncontrollable and you could it's definitely about all about easing into the speed of the acceleration and then just ripping it because for this little mortar this uh, 12 turn 7800 kv mortar along with the 18 turn pinion and the six the stock 16 turn spur gear perfect absolutely perfect um let's continue here uh in the back uh, I also aluminum shock absorbers with hard springs and uh, step in wheels already got to that directionals in the front already got to that um, but yeah you guys this is my build this is what it looks like uh, uh, the next videos will be speed runs uh, because I have been just waiting on parts i have another steering servo coming in just for a spare in case this one fucks up excuse my language but here i'll show you guys turn it on real quick controller that I got is a STX3. These are really good. These are really good. Affordable, very affordable, and the range is very long. Um, um, very good response. Uh, it's got it's got the adjustable throttle trim, throttle rate. It's got 50, 75 percent, 100 percent throttle limit steering rate steering trim it's really good for like 50 bucks and it comes with a receiver i'm not going to complain with that um i even have another one sitting because i do have the low c mini b buggy coming in stay tuned for that i'm going to be making videos on that and how to upgrade it to a good potential and good speed for the low c mini b buggy but here i want to show you guys what my car looks like when it's uh, fully plugged in. There's my low C mini B plugged in. And there's the fan already going. It provides plenty of uh, cool air, cool wind, especially when I put the body on. Put the orange one in the ST system.
I'm not gonna put all the pins on, I just wanna show you guys the bottom of the So that's what that looks like with the ST16 body. Uh, it looks really, really clean, honestly. It's, it just, it adds more profile. It, it makes it look a little bit more mean, definitely. It makes it look like it sits on the ground more. I like it, it looks really clean. Super, super clean. Um, but yeah, you guys, it's gonna build 7800 kV mortar, 18 turn pinion gear, 60 turn spur gear. Uh, be creative, you know. It all, it all depends on what you're gonna do with your little RC. It's, uh, direction of wheels in the front, step pin wheels in the back, aluminum shock absorbers, hard springs, front and back. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put the low humidity 2.0 body. That way, you guys can see my clear body. Keep watch for those speed run videos. Uh, now that I have my low C mini T2.0 up and running at like 100% right now, um, I am gonna be making a good couple of speed run videos, uh, showing you guys, showcasing how fast this thing can really go. Kinda bright, but there it is. That's with the low CVT 2.0 original body, clear body. Got the fan running. Everything fits really good in here. You just gotta, you just gotta make find the right sizes. And um, I'll post up in the links where I got my or um uh, all my most of my stuff has been Amazon ordered. But so I will show you guys those links, but most of these parts you can find them on yourself anywhere, your local hobby stores or just really on Amazon if you look. But yeah, I'll leave you guys with this and stay tuned for those uh, speed run videos. Um, uh, that way you guys can see how fast this uh, 700 kV mortar really goes. Uh, I'm excited, you guys. So. With that, I'll leave you with this video, and until next time, see you later, you guys.